New at four, educators across San Diego County are filled with anxiety and unease after this latest tragedy. ABC 10 News reporter Nia Watson talked to one teacher about the toll it's taking on the people we entrust to teach and watch over our children. I don't know a single teacher that got into this you know, profession knowing that this would be a hazard that they'd have to deal with. Connor Nessler is a seventh grade teacher at Earl Warren Middle in Solana Beach. He says the school shooting in Uvalde, Texas is simply jarring. It's just really jarring to to have repeat events over you know a number of years. Sweetwater Education Association President Julie Walker, who was a teacher for more than 30 years, can't help but get emotional. And when it's happened to another teacher and they've I'm sorry, this is tough. And they've been lost after dedicating their life to teaching to children. It's got to stop. While both educators say they feel safe in their school districts, they still fear the worst. How would I protect my students if this ever happened to us? Where's the best exits if they come this way, that way, or another way? How do I get them off campus? Questions they say they never thought they would have to consider going into this profession. Walker says she remembers when all they did were earthquake drills. Now she does active shooter training at the beginning of the school year. It was never like that when I started teaching, and it shouldn't be like that. Nia Watson, ABC 10 News. Walker says she believes a national ban on assault weapons is part of the solution along with more mental and emotional support for students who might need it.